your highlights, but overall, what do you like best about your performance today? Uh, just my energy and uh, like being aggressive. My teammates always tell me that I play the best when my energy is good from the tip off and I'm just aggressive. How do you feel like you've developed the most during this month? Uh, developed a lot. I know in the beginning of the uh, season, like my threes wasn't falling, and like so that was one thing that I was working on a lot. Even though I still went one for four, but definitely trying to like get that shoe into the uh, into the game. And what have you learned most about yourself during this stage of major college basketball? Uh, just energy, just playing with energy, playing with a lot of energy and a lot of effort, trying to make. Plays. Final one, how excited are you for the big four? Oh, very excited. Very. Hey, Juan, it seemed like when you guys got the quarter court uh, press pressure, that kind of kicked you guys into gear a little bit. How'd you see it? Oh, uh, it was, you talking about their press? Yeah. Your press. Our press. press. Yeah. Oh, uh, our press is pretty good, I feel. I feel especially when. Uh, like me or Keontae is like on the ball, uh, trying to make it hard. So I think our, our press is pretty good. But we don't really press, we just, I think it's called make it hard. So like we really just went like a non-dribbler to dribble up the court. How much does running the floor get you in our game flow? Uh, a lot, we emphasize that a lot for uh, all the bigs to uh, run down, well, everybody to run down and sprint to their spots. Uh, for both Keontae and Marquise Wanger, Thoughts on this. What do you think makes uh, Naquan such a good dunker in the basketball? Length, length, and uh, bounce. He don't get tired. I mean, so when other bigs be getting tired, he outrun them and then just have a lot of energy with him. I mean, that's, that's what Definitely. He has a lot of energy. Um, he tries to grab everything above the rim. And, you know, he's just a really good player. Keontae, obviously, you guys don't take anybody lightly, but. Were you a little surprised at Radford today, and what did they do well to hang with you guys? Um, they just hit tough shots towards the end. I mean, they all knew, they all knew their personnel. Um, when they got like 10 seconds and below, they threw it to the person they want to score, and those guys hit big time shots for them. Read everything, um, they guard played very well. But other than that, I mean, I feel like we did good of just speeding them up with our press and just changing up the pace of the game. And Marquise, kind of talk to us a little bit about the end of the game when Coach Tan calls multiple timeouts there at the end. What was the strategy of that, and kind of how did that progress? Uh, that was a new one for me. I never seen you know something like that happen. But his his whole theory was to keep it in the backcourt um, because he knew he had multiple timeouts left, and whenever you call a timeout, you get a fresh new ten seconds. So that's that's what his theory was, and we executed. Second clock, yeah. 10 seconds, 20, then another one. Yeah. He wastes two timeouts, yeah. uh, just doing that, and that's, you know, that's a testament to his good coaching. Keontae, did you know that you were on the brink of a thousand points? No, I actually didn't know. I didn't until Keith said it in the locker room. Okay, not until after. Yeah. Okay. Any, any thoughts on what that means to you? Um, just a blessing. Uh, God giving me the opportunity to reach a thousand points. Um, my teammates give me a ball in the game. So, I mean, I don't know, just excited that I finally reached it. When you got in there and you looked at the stat sheet and you kind of looked at your shooting and saw you had a reaction yeah. to that, did you feel like you were having an option? Yeah, no, nah, I definitely um, just getting in my head. I got in my head earlier into the game, um, missing a couple threes that I normally make. So, and then free throws as well. And slacking off on my free throws, so I just got to get more reps in. Marquise, now that you guys are headed home for Christmas break, is there communication between you guys as far as teammates about, hey, you know, stay focused, enjoy your time with family, but is there any kind of communication that goes on just between the players as you get set for Big 12 play? No, for sure. We we, we are like a family. Uh, we talk to each other on and off the court, so that won't change. But, you know, uh, like Coach Marco said, we have choices um, that we have to make when we go back home and, you know, just – making the right choices and staying out the way and staying focused because when we come back, you know, Big 12 play is here and we want to be ready and prepared for that.
from any of you guys. This was Bebe's first game back in a while. He only had two points, but he had three rebounds, two blocks. How does he kind of change things for you guys whenever he's out there and able to play? Uh, Bebe, congratulations for Bebe being back. But his energy and effort, you know, on both sides of the, the ball is incredible. Um, we, we missed that in the last couple of games. Um, so it's just it's just really good to see Bebe back out there talking and being that that you know second or third leader when when he's on the floor. So. Coach Tang had mentioned in the post game in uh, Kansas City that one concern maybe was coming into this game that you guys were thinking of getting out for Christmas a little too early. Did you see any of that early? It seemed like you guys were a little bit flat in the first few minutes. Uh, the message, you know, this whole time coming into this game was don't don't go home yet. Um, because we know, you know, a lot of teams have lost, you know, by games because, you know, they, they mentally went home. And our focus was, you know, going one and oh and winning this game and then, you know, having Christmas and making it a Merry Christmas, not just a regular Christmas. What are you guys just give us Yeah, I feel like we've been successful. I mean, we've been playing as a team the last couple, well, the last few games. The conference play, then been in the dog fights, and we just figured out how to fight at the end. So, just going to conference play is, uh, I feel like we all ready for it. I mean, it's all we can in K-State. We just play against the best conference, so. I wanted to ask about the, I'll leave it through to him. Yeah. It seemed like you threw it for about half court. Did you know that was coming, and, and I guess, Marquise, is there a limit to where he's really got you from, or if he's open, you'll check it down there? There's never no limit to when, how far I'll throw the uh, alley -oop. But, you know, me and Key has that connection. Um, he just look at me. He give me this look um, when he's running. Uh, he has to point up or he just look at me. And, you know, I just throw it up because he's athletic. And, you know, I have, you know, some really good, you know, bouncy guys. So. <laughs> That's the second uh, half court. Yeah. Uh, Alley back to back game or first in Nebraska. Yeah. This game that was crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. Nah, yeah, she did not. Wow. Uh, she did not. Any other questions for these guys? Oh, go on there. What kind of addition has McQuan been for you guys? <clears throat> to K State? Yeah. This, man, he's been a great addition, you know, just with his energy, like, on the court, you know, uh, what Naquan is capable of, but off the court, he has this spirit about him that's just, you know, you just want to be around him. Um, every day he's always laughing and making jokes. So, you know, he's a good guy to be around. Um, but on the court, you know, just his, the way he plays is, is how K-State is and the culture that we have. And, you know, just, just to have him um, on K-State is really good. Um, and I'm, I'm sad that it's, it's my last year. You played with some dudes before. What does what Nick want to um, I feel like he helps a lot just reading on him. Just helping me bring a lot of energy and make good plays and then just feed off of it. Um, I mean, he's my roommate, so we always talk. And just, I mean, we just had that connection with, with going out the game and just knowing each other, how to talk to each other. Keontae, was it really the defense been that got the tempo going for you guys? Yeah, I feel like um, once, I mean, we try to like change up the pace of the game. I mean, like I said, like towards the end, when he went in half court sets, now it's a 10 seconds lead, he hit a lot of contested tough shots and big guard made good plays. But I feel like once we started um, putting more pressure on the ball and everything, he just changed out the whole game.